Today we are going to be showing you how to render with Lumion. In the last class, we, we rendered with Enscape. You can see the rendering here. So today we are going to be rendering with Lumion. So first of all, we are going to have to launch our Lumion. For here, we are using Lumion 6. Your, your Lumion could be lower, it could be higher, but it's the same, it's the same principle. So we've, we've launched our Lumion. Now we are going to have to choose um, an environment. An environment. An environment is very important because it gives your rendering life. Lumion is open. We're going to choose an environment. So I usually use this because it has the surrounding mountains and it gives the and it gives the um, building this view. You can also use here, but I think between these two, let me use this one. This is the first one that we are looking at. So we we have this. You can see it's a vast land. So now we're going to also learn how to how how we can import our buildings our, our buildings from MarketCAD. To Lumion. So in order for us to do that, we have to click on. We have to, we have to open the 3D. So once we open the 3D, we have to click on File. We click on Save As. Then you will see the. You have to select this .dae format. This .dae format. Click on that. Then you can now save. So you click Save. So to save this model as it is in .dae format. Now we are going to have to go to Lumion. We are going to have to go to this Import. Now we're going to click on import new model. Now we are seeing this building here, the DAE, we click on open. So our limon is going to load, import animations. We don't have any animations, so we are not going to do that. So we just we just click on good and we wait while it imports. So it has imported. So we're going to have to place the model. So we've placed the model. As you can see, this is the model in Lumion. Can see how beautiful it's looking in Lumion. I see how beautiful it's looking in Lumion. This is the model in Lumion. Now, as you can see, the model is actually inside the ground. Some of our things are not showing, so we're going to have to raise this model from the ground. So, for that, we're going to have to click on this change height. So, once we do that, we're going to click here and then we are going to slowly drag it out of the ground to get what we want. Yeah. You can see we have successfully we have successfully done it so this is the model in Lumion. now we are going to have to add cards the same way we did in the last class we are going to have to add cards add um renderings add cards add people and, and, and other other objects so for that we are going to have to go to here yeah, people and animals transport so we're going to go to people and animals so we're good. we have human beings standing, sitting, walking. We have this. So we're going to let's let's use this. Let's use this guy. So we can place one here. He's walking. Then we can place one here. He's walking. Now we're going to have to rotate them. So to rotate, we click on this rotate. You can see we have this guy, so we click on him. Go in so we can rotate him to face us on this guy so we can leave this guy facing this way but i think we have the same human being so i think we should just delete this i think we should just delete this object since we are since we already have him since we already have him here i think i think we can delete him and we can add a new we can add a new um a new person so let us add a new human being so we can add um you can add this this person no let's 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 let's, let's add a lady this time around let's add the lady so we can add this lady um this lady yes we can add this lady and then we can rotate can rotate the lady to show her direction of movement which is here so you can see they've been added so now we are going to have to um Add cars. We need cars. Yeah, we need cars. So which car are we going to add? We are going to go to cars. You know, we are, all these things are to spice up the rendering, to spice up the model, to make them look beautiful. So we we'll go to cars. So let's add this. Let's add this. Add this one. We can add this one here. Yeah. Then we can add this. You can add um, a different car here. Let's add a different car that is parked. Let's let's park a different car. Let's say SUV. Let's park a pickup truck. 
here so we're going to have to rotate the models as usual so bear in mind the control for lumion is actually different we have in lumion we use for those, those of you that play computer games we use the normal computer game which are WASD to move around then to go up we use E to bring the camera down then Q to carry the camera up that is the controls for Lumion so we have this as you can see we are beginning to add life to our to our um, image to our model here as you can see Lumion is also a real-time rendering engine that means it renders in real time so the version of your Lumion is going to determine the version of the rendering um, we are going to add trees now, so we are going to let's say African olive just because it's African, you know. So we're going to be adding trees. We're going to have have one here. As you can see it's it's actually moving in the wind, like it's it's this happening in real time. So we can add add another one here, add another one here just in case. Yep, we can have one here. You can also have one here. But I think we'll have to change the tree. Maybe um, a smaller, smaller, more smaller one. Okay. Um, let's add this. Let's add this here. Yeah. So as you can see, we are we are we are beginning to plant trees and the likes here. So let's have another one here. Uh, now we're going to have to also plant other objects. We're going to have to plant other objects. So we have in Lumion you can also add sounds. So um I think I'll have to trash this tree because it doesn't the placement of the tree doesn't look too realistic. So we can also add sounds. So in order for us in order for us to add sounds, we have to make the um the sounds or rather we have to make the things we're adding a little bit realistic. So for that I think I'm going to have to add benches here. I'm going to have I think I'm going to have to add a realization spot here where I can then add um people sitting down and discussing so that way it sounds a little bit realistic. I don't know if you I don't know if you understand. So we're going to have to add um things that make the building look a little bit realistic. So I think for I think here we're going to let's add this chair here or here. Let's add let's add the chair here. Under the three. So we have, we have this. And then we're going to add another one here. So we're going to have to rotate the chairs to face one, one another. Okay, and we're going to make this chair face. So now I'm going to add people sitting on the chair. This is just this is this this particular thing I'm doing now is for video rendering. So it's not a much to do it, but this is just for video rendering. Okay, so let's let's use her. So we're going to add her right on the chair. Okay, then we're going to add a different person on this other chair. So we're going to try and simulate sort of a discussion. I don't know if you understand. So add this lady here too. And so we're going to have to rotate them to face themselves. Like this. And we're going to rotate this one to face her too. Then we're going to have we have to go to sounds. So we have sounds. So here you can see. Sorry, let me increase the volume a little bit. So here you can see different sounds that are being used in Lumion. This is for video rendering to create the sense of the space is actually being used. So here you can see um, sounds. This is the rights. This is airport. We have cafe. We have, uh, so this is for a playground. This is for a playground. This is for pedestrian walking. You, are, you get the G, so I'm going to have to use. Um, let me use a cafe, no? Okay, so we're going to use the sound here. We're going to place the sound here. So this is to create people discussing. Now, as you can see, as you move away from the sound, it reduces. So this particular one I did now is for video rendering. So as you can see, as you as you as you render and you move towards the sound, you get the sense of people discussing in the distance. These are all tricks we play in rendering. Now we can add other things or we can choose to render, but let us render and see how it, how it's going to turn out. 
So in order for us to render, we are going to have to first choose a position. So I think we should choose this position. Although there's nothing here. So let's let us go to where um, we can get a good view and you can see the things that have been placed in the, the area. So here. I think here is a better here here is a better position. So here. So what we can do now is to press the camera icon to photo. Sorry photo so this way we can we can start rendering okay so click on it it brings you to this rendering page now for Lumion 6 if you want to add um, rendering settings you have to go to new effects so that was why I went to and I brought out this cloud this cloud so for this one will allow us to change and adjust the cloud. So from here we can put, we can change the position of the cloud. As you can see that we can also increase cloud speed. But this this one doesn't really matter in photo rendering. Hence it's red. So we can also low clouds, increase the cloud, make it a little bit more beautiful. And we can also click here new effects and then we can go to um fog rain. So we can make it rain. I can this is for if you want it to rain. But I don't think we are going to use I don't think we are going to use rain. So we can also go to um world where we can choose the sun, the weather and global nation. So we can go to weather. So we can go to the weather, the sun. So we can choose the, the sun height. So we can render this to give us this wonderful um let's say some realistic view, but you can see the sun is too bright so we can reduce the brightness of the sun or we can we can start to shift it a little behind the building okay like this is better now we can we can also add more this this is just to give your building or to rather to give your um a rendering this realistic touch so we can object you can change choose what we want to set here we can also choose the effects we want to have on our photo and the camera lens flare this is for lens flare i can add lens flare so let so as me now I wanted to um I brought the sun to the front like this I can decide to add lens flare so you can see is is you can see the lens flare that's happening you can see how it's making the, the rays this ray of the sun enter into the image this gives it a more realistic view so what we can do now is to reduce it to bring out the sun a little A little like this so that the ray can enter but it's a little bit too bright and a little bit too overexposed so probably probably we, we won't use that probably we will not use that so we can add, add the effects we can move over to exposure to two-point perspective to clear all these things are things depth of field is to add blur I, I enjoy using depth of field a lot in my rendering let's add blur so I can blur the background and make the images and give you this sense of portrait mode on android phones so i can reduce this so that the building is clear enough so that the building is clear enough and then i can decide to reduce the amount of blur that's added so the building the building stays in focus so i said that the building stays in focus and i can also um, go to Exposure, I can decide to increase or reduce the level of exposure. Remember, exposure has to do with the brightness of the image. If it's over bright, it will be overexposed. If it's if it's if it's low, it will be underexposed. So you have to get the exposure just right to make the image look as realistic as you want. Then you can also go to, you can also choose a lot of things. Some some versions will have saturation, bloom over the image, color correction, which is this one has saturation. So we you here I can saturate the image make it a little bit more saturated I can enhance the contrast a little bit make it a little bit it's too contrasty so you have to get get get, get that sweet spot that increases and brightens of the image you also have gamma you can make it vivid can make it a little bit too washed out so it, it's, it's all about finding that exact sweet spot that matches what you want we have brightness and contrast so I actually like increasing the contrast a little because it allows you to see mm. The shades and shadows very well so um with this i think we can we can finally decide to render 
and see how it's going to be. But this is this is not the full settings. This is just um let's say, like well, let's say um a tutorial video where 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 you can decide to um from here move on. The other things you can set like sharpness. So you can increase the sharpness. You can reduce the sharpness. But I usually leave this increased a little. Now I'm going to have to render. So render. So now we're going to render. So we're going to click on desktop. So now we're going to name the image. So let's name it as test or JPG. And we're going to say OK. And then it's going to render for us. So it's rendering. And now you can see the image we've rendered. Not, not, you can see the image that we've rendered. Let me just open it. Okay, so you can see the image that we've rendered on our desktop. Okay, so you can see the image that we've rendered here. This is it. So the rendering has been complete. So you can you can see the image that we've rendered here. This is it. So this is what we were able to create just now. Okay, so um, as you can see, we, we, we've just rendered. And you can see the image that we've rendered just here. So you can see um, it's a little bit photorealistic. It's not what I would um, have loved it to be, but it's, it's a little bit presentable. You can use this in your, presentation, in, your, in your presentation drawing. So just know that what we showed you here is not is not the this is this is not the definitive way to render. But we just give you we just give you snippets of what each tool can do. For instance, color correction, focusing, depth of field, and reflection, sun sun rays, and the rest lens flare and the rest this are just we just showed you how to manipulate the tools to get the image that you want so if you want to get a more realistic image you can follow us where we'll be doing we can follow us for our next series where we'll be doing an in-depth rendering 